Guys, Sam Wright here, your Canadian long guy, owner of Emerald Cut Turf and Tree Company. Uh, so we run uh, primarily still combi units. KM-131R is my weapon of choice here. Now, I love these machines. Uh, they've been great for me, very versatile, all the different attachments. Uh, this is what I built my company on. Uh, so I didn't have to buy a whole bunch of uh, different engines. I had one engine with all the different things on the end. Anyways, after three years of running these, I've noticed there is a uh, little bit of a design flaw. And uh, it's been increasing in issues, uh, maybe because of the plastics that they're using. Um, it may also be something else, which I'm gonna show you guys. So this is a brand new unit. Um, I've already taken a few parts off this, I've put it back together, but we're gonna take it off and I'm gonna show you uh, what, what you need to do to get around some of this design flaw. And if it does happen, I'll also talk to you about how to fix it. So this is KM131, KM still combi unit. So first thing, you need to loosen this so this comes off. So we have this little plastic uh, sleeve here. If you run these machines, you know that these break. It's usually this tab that breaks. But what can happen on this end is the inside of it that is holding this uh, shaft in place can melt out. Why would that happen? Uh, plastic melts because of friction, heat, right? Okay, these should be greased. The first one I ever bought had a lot of grease in it. This was back in 2019. We're now in 2021 and they're not getting greased properly anymore. So push that little tab and you can pull out this shaft. So this sleeve is held on by this little piece of metal, which is pounded on there and there's a uh, little teeth on the inside. So this shaft should be greased. There's grease all down there. It's, it's greased all right, it could use more. Now the first time I ever bought one of these, it was packed, to grease, packed with grease up to about here. This one, uh, straight out of the, the dealer that I got it, and the last one, these were two separate dealers, two separate towns, has nothing to do with the dealer, has to do with still and their manufacturing process right now. They're only greasing about two inches away from where the friction and the heat buildup is. So when you buy these, you need to take this out and you need to get this grease up around here and probably even add more grease, to be honest. Because this little metal thing, as it spins, it will wear out this sleeve and you'll melt it right out of there. So you do that and just get it all greased up. You can see it's, it's all nice and shiny now. So hopefully that should help. But when this does break and you get another sleeve, you can't just put this sleeve back on the shaft. It won't fit over either parts of those. So you have to put this in a vise, clamp it down here, and you can take uh, like a wrench or some, anything really that'll fit over this and, and won't slip and just tap it with a hammer, tap, 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 and this will come right off. You can slide off that metal, whatever it is, chunk, uh, right off. You can put a new one of these on, slide this back on and pound it back over the teeth and it should hold. Uh, these are also able to be ordered from a still dealer if you need them. Every, every part can be reordered if it breaks, but we don't like spending money. So that's the way to fix it. Make sure to grease your shaft before you use your combi system. Have a good one, guys.